everyone. It's good to be with you for another midweek video message update. I hope this inquiry finds you safe, healthy, and well. Well, it's that time of year again. No, I'm not referring to Advent, and neither am I referring to Christmas. It's that time of year again. It's baking time. You know, that time where we participate in and enjoy all the seasonal cookies and breads and cakes. You know, last year was my first experience with Christ Lutheran Church's cookie walk, and I was very much looking forward to that again this year to meet all of my seasonal baking needs. And before I continue with my message this week, I just want to do a quick commercial and encourage all of you to continue to participate in our cookie walk yet again this year. Even though we won't be delivering cookies and producing cookies, you can still participate in that ministry. So if I could take a moment to direct you either to our website or to our Facebook posts or to links in our Beacon electronic newsletter so you can continue to participate and support our cookie walk and as well our giving tree. That would be faithful and good behavior for serving our neighbors out in the community. Back to our message. Indeed, it is baking time. And perhaps this year, in absence of our cookie walk and with our social restrictions, perhaps we might find ourselves in our own kitchens producing and making all of those seasonal breads and cookies and cakes. As I contemplated the reality of seasonal baking this year, I was reminded of a particular scripture in Timothy's second letter. Let me share you share that with you today. In a large house, there are utensils not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for special use, some for ordinary use. All who cleanse themselves of the things that I have mentioned will become special utensils, dedicated and useful to the owner of the house, ready for every good work. Friends and neighbors in Christ, indeed, it is seasonal baking time, and perhaps more than ever, you will find yourself in your kitchen participating in and producing and making some of those incredible breads and cookies and cakes that are very much a part of our celebration. Our scripture today from 2 Timothy reminds us that as we go about our daily life, which at this time of year includes seasonal baking, as we go about our ordinary life, some of us are special utensils and some of us are ordinary utensils. I wonder, given the times this year, the reality of what it is to live and struggle in our world, if some of us aren't struggling with our purpose, what is my purpose? If I can't do all the things I usually want to do and my life seems smaller and more restricted, what indeed is my purpose? Well, my hope for us as God's people is that we hear hope and promise and good news in this brief scripture from Timothy. He says some of us are fancy utensils and some of us are just ordinary wood and clay utensils, but regardless of what kind of utensil you are, Timothy wants us to know this, that God puts all of God's utensils to good work out in the community. And so let this Advent time be a time where we are getting prepared, knowing that as we work through and move through this particular time in our history, that God is doing something incredible and God is about to do something even more incredible. You are simply one of the utensils. What is your purpose right now but to wait for God to act in your life. As you go about your holiday baking, as you go about your Christmas baking, as you find yourself in your kitchen stirring batter and mixing dough, 
and decorating cakes and breads and cookies, be reminded that you are just one of God's utensils and that God is doing incredible things through you out in the world. Enjoy all those breads and cakes and cookies. Be well, stay healthy, be safe. God loves you and so do I.